How's it going, everybody? My name is Leo Hashi, and welcome to a very serious review of every single enemy in Honkai Star Rail until patch 1.1, because there's definitely gonna be a hundred gazillion more enemies added onto the game. This is gonna be outdated in like a month. I'm just gonna briefly go over every single enemy in the game, and then I'll give them a rating out of five. Now let's start this review off strong, with the first enemies being the Anti-Baryon and Baryon. You know, honestly, I didn't even know these guys had names until like, I actually looked them up. Like, I actually thought it was just Floating Ball number one and Floating Ball number two. I guess that just shows how much I genuinely care about the existence of these enemies. I mean, the best thing about them is that they're easy to beat and they don't make my life into a living nightmare like some other enemies on this list. So I guess there's that. I'm gonna give these guys a 2.5 out of 5. When I googled the word mid, a picture of these guys came up. Mask of no thought. I've never related to anything more than the name Mask of No Thought because honestly my brain is constantly in a state of emptiness like you hear that? So these guys are basically the likable and fun cousins of the most boring enemies to ever exist. And by likable, I mean when I obliterate this floating ball, it gives my characters a little bit of energy recharge, which means I'm one step closer to disappearing among the illusion of butterfly. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a snobby Japanese dub player, so I don't actually know the ultimate lines for the characters in English or any other language. I'm gonna give the Mask of No Thought a 3.5 out of 5. Void Ranger Distorter. You know when you wake up and just choose violence? Well, that's what the the distorter does every single day when he decides to point at my weakest party member and then tells his little minions to beat the ever living life out of him. I guess no one told this dude that pointing is rude, so I'm gonna give him a 2 out of 5. His manners suck. Void Ranger Reaver. How do I say this diplomatically? These guys are like sheep. First off, why are they permanently standing like they're about to hit the meanest dab on the planet? Do they not understand that hitting the dab is cringe? Look, it's me. I'm a Void Ranger. Second, guys, Learn to think for yourself, okay? Whenever the distorter decides to rudely point his finger, you guys just go, Okay, boss, your wish is my command. Like, these guys would divorce their partners and then let the distorter marry their partner if he commanded them to do that. I'm gonna give these guys a 2 out of 5. Void Ranger Eliminator. Big homies with big guns. Honestly, I don't actually know what they do. Like, they're just kind of there. 2 out of 5. Void Ranger Trampler. Every time I fight this alien horse-looking goofy ah boy, it feels like an absolute anxiety-inducing race against time. Because whenever he pulls up his arrow to you know charge it and destroy one of my party members all i can do is just break him through his weakness as fast as possible or just resign to my fate and take the fat l 80 percent of the time i just end up taking the l it's fine like i'm okay like i'm, I'm fine okay I'm okay. I'm okay I'm okay i'm okay i'm okay i'm okay i'm okay i'm gonna give him a three out of five he's all right but that arrow is gonna turn my hair gray doomsday beast oh my god i love it when he slaps my healer and then my healer can't move so i can't heal and then he decides to slap my entire party and then everyone gets knocked out and then I lose even though he's the first boss of the entire game Like I love you. I love you. I love one out of five the spawns, you know the flame spawn frost spawn thunder spawn the little birdies They're as common as the pigeons in New York City now If you don't understand what that means just imagine how many times you fought these birds in the game And that's how many pigeons are in New York City basically I'm gonna give them a four out of five because they're easy to beat and also they don't give me actual anxiety like the pigeons in New York City do sometimes the shade walkers I mean, they're just there like when you you walk into an office building and you just see like a potted plant they're just there two out of five imaginary weave what is a reverberating carol who is carol and why is she reverberating one out of five blaze out of space <laughs> ice out of space <laughs> <laughs> Stormbringer. Basically, another anxiety attack. But this time in green and hits more than one of my party members. <laughs> Two out of five. Automaton, aut automaton beetle. I don't know how to say that. All right, team. It's time to attack this guy. Oh, wait. He put a shield up. Let me just get rid of it really quickly by attacking him. Oh, wait. Another shield? Let me just get rid of it by attacking him. Oh, wait. Another shield? Let me just get rid of it by attacking him. Oh, wait. Another shield? Let me just get rid of it by attacking him. Oh, wait. There's another shield? Let me just get Why? It's basically like that one annoying kid who's like, Are we there yet? And then you walk like, one minute and then they're like are we there yet and then you walk another minute and then they're like are we there yet and then you walk another minute and then blah, 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 blah. one out of five no we're not there yet automaton hound look he's not as bad as the beetle but when i'm fighting an over leveled enemy who only loses like five hp every time i hit them the last thing i need is for two of these little things to just heal the enemies therefore making my life a hundred times worse look at least they're easy to beat 2.5 out of 5 the robot spider my favorite robot if you deplete this fist looking homie's health then he blows up and deals damage to the enemies around him i would give this robot a fist bump but i think if i try to do that it'll probably just end up breaking my entire
entire arm. I'm gonna give this guy a four out of five. The robot dire wolf. <laughs> okay, I get it. You're made to be annoying. Every time that this guy does that on my party members, they always lose a gazillion health because it applies so many stacks of bleed. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, long story short, I hate him. One out of five. Robot grizzly. This robot, unlike its annoying taller counterpart, is my homie because he summons the exploding fist robots, which means that I get to destroy those robots, which means I get to do some free damage. Mwah. Three out of five. Searing Prowler. What happens when you take the really annoying Dire Wolf and then have him listen to my mixtape? You get the Searing Prowler, which somehow is really powerful and causes a lot of burn to my characters, yet somehow is still less annoying than the Dire Wolf. Because at least this one doesn't do the three out of five. The Frigid Prowler. What happens when you take a Grizzly and add a little ice on his wrist? You get the Frigid Prowler. You know what I love in this game? Is when my healer gets frozen and I can't do anything, and then they just keep attacking, and then after the healer arm freezes, they move down a turn, so like they can't really like even heal and then the thing just attacks again like god i love it please keep freezing my characters i want nothing more in my life 1.5 out of 5 vagrant <laughs> the guardian shadow we all know that person who gets really really upset at you for not doing what they tell you to do like when you don't clean your room so your mom takes away your video games well you put that person into honkai star rail and you get the guardian shadow the guardian shadow does this thing where it just bans you from doing things like no basic attacking or no special attacking or don't attack the guardian shadow but when you do the thing that the guardian shadow said you can't do the guardian shadow gets all like well you didn't do what i told you to do i'm mad and then it hits you with a gigantic thunderous hammer 0 0.5 out of 5 okay i told you i was gonna clean my room later mom stop banning my basic attacks i have no skill points left decaying shadow decaying is what i feel like my sanity is doing right now the decaying shadow is like the less annoying sibling of the guardian shadow it's like the chill parent who's like yeah you can clean your room later i trust you and doesn't whack you with a gigantic hammer i mean it does have like this little golden attack thingies but honestly they're not much of a threat which is probably why i like them more three out of five silver main gunner aren't these guys supposed to be like part of the army that protects bellowbog from external threats why are they so weak two out of five silver main soldier aren't these guys supposed to be like part the army that protects Bellowbog from external threats. Why are they so weak? Two out of five. Silvermain Cannoneer. Ah, these guys. I love it when they do their little support thing that lets them hit my party members an extra time if the supported enemy attacks my team. It makes me very happy and does not drain my sanity whatsoever. Lamal, 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 Lamal. Three out of five because they're not as annoying as some of the other enemies in this game. Silvermain Lieutenant. Oh, hey, my best friend, the Lieutenant. Man, I love it when you use the ability Pierce, which makes you hit one of my party members with their spear like five good zillion times in a row i love it when there's two of you and then and then you, you both use that attack on one of my party members and then they just lose all of their health in like two seconds amazing oh and also i love it when you summon extra enemies onto the battlefield and then you enter a counter state and when i hit you you use that amazing pierce attack that hits my character five gazillion times god please i love this please give me more negative 500 out of five Branya. i wrote a letter for Branya actually every time i see the five star animation while i'm rolling for characters and it's not you but it's a light cone a little part of my soul gets extinguished every time you shouldn't be supporting cocolia okay you should switch teams and uh join my party right please 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 Ronya. like please i need you on my team please 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 Ronya. i need you on my team five out of five if i end up getting her at some point okay japard so i have japard right why can't he do the same things as the enemy japard can for example attack three times in a row or do a massive amount of damage to every single enemy at the same time did he shadow clone jutsu himself and then put the weaker clone into my team three out of five svarog hey so i have clara right why can't svarog do some of the things that enemy svarog can like summon a hand and capture one of the enemies did he shadow clone jutsu himself and then put the weaker copy into my team the numbers aren't adding up the statistics aren't matching up the variables aren't like lining up four out of five because i actually think his boss battle is pretty fun cocolia oh man i loved it when i was fighting her in a simulated universe and then branya comes out of nowhere and then she's all like oh you go again next and then cocolia gets to go again and again and again and then destroys my team in like two seconds because she does 100 gazillion damage and then i die and then i lose and then i get destroyed and i have to start the entire thing all over again again and again and again and again four out of Five, because I actually like the challenge. Cocolia, mother of deception. Cloud Knight's Patroller. We've never seen this type of enemy before. Two out of five for originality. <laughs> Marastruck Soldier. So if you didn't know, right, when Zila defeats an enemy, she actually gets an extra turn. So I love it when I defeat one of these guys with Zila, but I don't get an extra turn because they just get revived and therefore I have to defeat them again. I love it. Three out of five. Uh, they do look pretty cool. Entranced Ingenuity. Obedient Dracolon. Eh, two out of five. Entranced Ingenuity. Golden Cloud Toad. Eh. 
Terrifying. Entranced Ingenuity. Illumination Dragonfish. Yo, that's my homie. I love enemies that damage other enemies when they get defeated. Any enemy that makes my life easier and lets me be more lazy gets a high five from me. Four out of five. Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Internal Alchemist. Honestly, I've never really had trouble fighting these guys. Four out of five, uh, because they're easy. <laughs> Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Shape Shifter. You know, it's my favorite thing when I'm fighting this guy when I'm completely under level. And then this dude summons two of the Mara soldiers, you know, the ones that revive themselves once. But then he gets this like healing ability that heals him whenever he hits one of my team members, which means that it takes a hundred years to actually be one of these guys in memory of chaos. And then I don't get any stellar jade, which means I'm never ever gonna get Branya. One out of five. Why are you preventing me from getting Branya? Arumaton Gatekeeper. Now, let me describe you a little scenario. Back in the olden days, I used to wear wired headphones to listen to music, right? Sometimes these wired headphones get like caught on something and my headphones just get like ripped out of my ears and for that one brief moment all i see is the color red it's just a very short feeling of pure unfiltered rage and then it would just like disappear after a second but that's the kind of emotion i feel whenever this guy hits a hundred percent sanction rate and then it loses its weaknesses while summoning two other enemies onto the battlefield like it's not even that hard of an enemy to beat but for some reason the, the sanction rate stuff just drives me absolutely insane negative 1000 out of five what even is a sanction rate what is a sanction why are you rating it like like what abundant ebon deer i mean he was cool I guess, uh, 3 out of 5. Kafka. Kafka has this attack where she basically just brainwashes one of your party members, and then they start attacking each other, and you need a debuff ability to get rid of it. This used to, like, really annoy me, right? But then over time, I think I just start to fall in love with Kafka, and, and then, like, um, and now whenever I fight her, like, I, I low-key wish that the ability transcended into reality, and, like, I got brainwashed by Kafka, because, to be honest, like, I would do anything for Kafka, like, I just, I don't know. I mean, 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 I'm a normal person, I'm normal, I'm normal, I'm fine. Four out of five. Warp Trotter. You know what they say to save the best for last. I love these guys, but not because of their cute designs or because they're easy to beat. I love these guys because when you mercilessly destroy these creatures, they drop Stellar Jade. They're helping me on my quest to finally get Branya in my team. Five out of five. My favorite enemy. Anyways, that's it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. Me complain about enemies because I suck at the game. I don't know if I'll make another review, but maybe it'll happen. Maybe it won't. Anyways, I will see you all later. Peace out. <laughs>